Hey everyone, if you've been wondering how to install TWRP on your Samsung device without a PC, then you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to show you a super easy way to install TWRP recovery without a computer. Yes, you heard that right. All you need is a, another Android phone, a USB OTG cable or Type-C to Type-C cable and the free Eros Flash Tool app to flash TWRP onto your Samsung device. But first, make sure that your Samsung device has an unlocked bootloader. If it's still locked, don't worry. I've already made a separate video on how to unlock the bootloader without a PC, so watch that first. Also, for more details and download links, check the description below. Alright, so for this video, I'm using the Samsung S23, but this method will work for all Samsung devices. As you can see, this is the S911B model running on Android 14, which is the latest version for Samsung devices till now. Now, let's confirm which recovery is currently installed on my device to ensure that no custom recovery is already present. To do that, I'll boot the device into recovery mode. And yes, as you can see, this is the stock recovery, which comes pre-installed on all Samsung devices. Now that we've confirmed the device is running the stock recovery, let's move on to installing TWRP without PC. Now the first thing we need to do is enable developer options on the Samsung device. To do that, go to settings, then navigate to about phone and then software information. Here you will find build number, tap on it seven times until you see a message saying developer mode has been enabled. Once that's done, go back and you'll find a new option called Developer Options. Inside Developer Options, you can see that the bootloader is already unlocked on my device, which means we're good to proceed. The next step is to enable USB debugging inside Developer Options. Once USB debugging is enabled, we're done with the Samsung device for now. Let's move on to the second phone, which we'll be using to flash TWRP. So, on your second phone, you'll need to install the Eros Flash Tool app. A huge thanks to its developer, Gabriel, for making this possible, allowing us to flash TWRP without a PC effortlessly. All right, the next thing we need is the TWRP file in the VB meta file. Now, let me show you how to download these for your specific Samsung device. So, open any browser and search for TWRP along with your device name. The first link that appears should be from twrp.me, which is the official website for downloading TWRP. Open the page, scroll down and download the twrp.tar file for your device. If you're unable to find an official TWRP file for your Samsung device, do not worry. There's a high chance you'll find an unofficial TWRP build on XDA developers. Once you've downloaded the TWRP file, the next thing you need is the VB meta file. So add XDA to your search term and open the TWRP XDA thread and you'll most definitely find the VB meta file link there. Keep in mind that some older Samsung devices might not require a VB meta file. So if you're unsure, just check the XDA TWRP post for your specific model. So now that we have both TWRP and VB meta file, open Eros app and connect the Samsung device to the second Android phone. I'm using a Type-C to Type-C cable, but if you're using an older device, you might need a USB OTG adapter instead. Once the devices are connected, we need to boot the Samsung device into download mode. First, power off the device completely, then press and hold both the volume up and volume down buttons for a few seconds until you see a blue screen. Once booted, press volume up button once to boot into download mode. As soon as the phone enters into download mode, you'll see a pop-up on the Eros Flash Tool app. Simply tap OK to allow the app to detect the Samsung device. Next, tap on the Add File button and select the TWRP file. Once the TWRP file is added, do the same for the VB Meta file. So both the files are added. Now go to the Options section and disable the Auto Reboot option. This is crucial, so make sure to turn it off. Alright, 
it's time to start the flashing process. So tap on the start button to begin. This will take a few seconds, so just be patient and wait for it to complete. Now that the flashing process is done, we need to manually boot into TWRP recovery. To do this, press and hold the power key and volume down key simultaneously until the Samsung logo appears. This might take 10 to 12 seconds, so keep holding the buttons until the Samsung logo. And there we go. If done correctly, you should now see the TWRP interface confirming that the installation was successful. But guys, keep in mind that this is just a temporary installation of TWRP. To make it permanent, we need to take a few more steps. First, we need to reboot into recovery mode again to ensure that TWRP is properly installed. So tap on reboot, then select recovery. Your device will restart and boot back into TWRP recovery. Once you're back in TWRP, go to the wipe section and select format data. Here, type yes and press enter. This will completely format your device. So make sure you've backed up any important data beforehand. This step is crucial because it removes encryption issues and ensures that TWRP works properly. Once the formatting is complete, go back and reboot into the system. The device will now restart and take you to the initial setup screen, just like a brand new phone. You can now set up your device as usual and TWRP is fully installed. So let me quickly set up the device and let it boot into the system. And yes, our device has successfully booted. Now, it's time to confirm whether TWRP is installed permanently. To do this, power off the device completely. Then press and hold the volume up and power key simultaneously until you see the Samsung logo. And there we go. We have successfully booted into TWRP recovery, which means TWRP is now permanently installed on our Samsung device. And that's it guys, you've now successfully installed TWRP recovery on your Samsung device without a PC using the Eros Flash tool. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, let me know in the comments if you faced any issues and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. This is Jarvis signing off.